All right, something that I've been asked about on more than one occasion is soft body armor. And people get into shopping for this kind of thing and they find out how expensive it can really be. And there are less expensive options out there, but one of the things that I get asked about a lot is, well, hey, I go to my local uh, surplus store and I see these interceptor military style plate carriers that have soft armor in them. And while they maybe pass an expiration date or something, I get asked all the time, well, or is that something that would be better than nothing? And certainly anything, especially against a, a jacketed hollow point, is going to be better than nothing. Any, any, I mean, thick clothing sometimes um, will, will defeat at least the hollow point functionality of a round. I'm not going to say that it's going to stop it. You're not going to wear thick clothes and stop a projectile. But sure, it can't hurt. So <clears throat> the question is, will it stop handgun rounds? So this particular video, uh, we're going to jump into, will it stop 9 mil rounds? And I'm going to shoot this thing as much as it'll hold up to shooting with stuff that we that we aren't positive will go through it. I mean, obviously, in, a, in our in AR-15, a 223, 556, 300 blackout, uh, it's certainly supersonic. Now, subsonic might be interesting, but certainly a supersonic 300 blackout, any rifle caliber cartridge is going to zip through this thing through hot, but like hot butter. But, but we're going to run 9mm, we're going to run 40, we're going to run 45 through it. We may run some 9mm out of a longer barrel to see if that makes any difference. I can go ahead and tell you that it won't. Um, we're going to run hollow points, full metal jackets, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I think I probably will run a subsonic 120 or 220 grain um, uh, 300 blackout at it too, because the, the ballistics of that are supposed to be comparable to a 45 ACP. So um, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out with the shape of the bullet and how that all come, uh, plays into terminal ballistics against the soft armor. But so these are the kind of vests that, that I'm getting asked about. You see these pretty commonly, even on eBay or surplus stores, certainly. And so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to hang it up at the range. And at 7 yards, I'm going to run a 115 grain full metal jacket, 115 grain jacket at hollow point. I'm going to run a 147 grain uh, full metal jacket. And then I'm going to run a 147 grain plus P HST at it. And let's just see how it holds up in terms of stopping that, something that's certainly beyond the manufacturer's uh, expectations of life for something like this, certainly beyond any kind of dates. And we'll get into a little bit of specifics about what kind of soft armor is in this, and then we'll look at what what the uh, the various uh, iterations of the 9mm out of a handgun do to it. So the first series of rounds we're going to throw at this surplus store special soft armor vest, the Interceptor, is going to be some pretty standard 9 mil loads. We're going to run 115 grain full metal jacket, 115 grain jacket at hollow point, 147 grain full metal jacket, and 147 jacket at hollow point. Just to kind of see what the penetration looks like on an old surplus style soft armor. And it is rated up to 9 mil. We'll get into the specifics of the vest in this video, but let's just see what this 9 mil does to our vest. All of these rounds are going to be fired out of my Glock 17 uh, with a compensator. First up is going to be the 115 grain full metal jacket. Running these at seven yards. Let's go check it out. I'm trying to save some space here on the vest. So I ran this sort of high into the left. We can see the entry hole right here where my thumb is. Uh, it did hit the soft armor and there is nothing coming through. So thrift shops, uh, not thrift shop, but um, surplus store special uh, certainly did stop the projectile. Um, I can I can feel where it bunched up uh, the soft armor on the inside, so I'm going to kind of square that away a little bit so we can prep for the next round. Okay, next up is going to be the 115 grain jacketed hollow point. Alright, let's check it out. Put it just to the right of the full metal jacket. Obviously we can see the entry hole. Once again, a lot of bunching 
uh, inside where the soft armor is, but I'm not sure how well this is showing on video, but there is no exit that was able to capture that. Uh, I can feel the projectile in there from the jacketed hollow point so it didn't fall down to the bottom of the vest where I think the, like the full metal jacket did. So, all right, let's set it up for the next one. All right, this time we're gonna go to the 147 grain full metal jacket. See if we got any more punch out of that higher grain projectile. Just keeping our group going right along to the right there. Obvious where the entry is. A lot of bunching this time uh, on the soft arm on the inside. Some of that may be a leftover of the bunching on before, but we did definitely contact the soft armor. I'm gonna have to pull this down and square it away for the next shot, but there is no uh, pass through, so it was able to stop it. Okay, we've got the bunching squared away. We've got everything leveled back off uh, and sitting where it should in the soft armor carrier. I'm gonna run the last nine mil of this specific test in this video. Let's see what the 147 grain jacket hollow point does. This specific round is the Federal HST. Uh, the 115 grain uh, jacketed hollow point was a Jesse James branded 115 grain hollow point. All right, let's see what this last one did. Okay, here we are here, entry hole. This is, by the way, a plus P round. Uh, lots of bunching on the inside, but no pass through. So we're gonna take this apart. We're gonna take a look at the soft armor on the inside and have a little bit of a tabletop before we Okay, I got the soft armor out and we can see the four holes we made. We've got the 115 grain full metal jacket, 147 grain full metal jacket, 115 grain jacketed hollow point, 147 grain jacketed hollow point, and which was an HST plus P uh, loaded. So um, <clears throat> obviously uh, you can tell that there was no penetration on any of these rounds. I don't even see really much damage to speak of uh, from this area. Uh, maybe pop that thread that could have been like that before I'm not sure so uh, I'm gonna do a couple of a um, little bit of surgery I'm gonna pull those projectiles out of the soft armor and let's see uh, exactly what they look like after hitting the interceptor uh, soft armor which is rated up to 9 mil submachine gun so uh, dug the uh, projectiles out and here's the order that they were shot uh, this was the 115 grain full metal jacket and it's got a nice little smooth uh, sort of a mushroom shape uh, where you see where it smashed in started to delaminate de a little bit around the edges the jacket um, and picking up a little bit of those fibers uh, but certainly did not come close to punching through this was the 115 grain jacket at hollow point the Jesse James branded ammo similar delamination and cracks in the jacket on the edge um, similar mushroom shape uh, picking up a few little fibers, uh, you can kind of see where that that hollow point was, and it's interesting to see that hollow point completely smooth. That lead just fills in that that gap as though there was never actually uh, a hollow section of the interior of that hollow point. Here is the 147 grain full metal jacket, a few cracks here and there, and uh, similar mushroom shape. You can see the the increased a length of the round and that's where those extra grains of weight are coming from and then the 147 grain HST which grabbed a lot of the fiber you can see these petals wanting to start to peel off similar um, look to it but you can still see that, that there is still somewhat of a cavity where that hollow point was it's very slight but it was enough to pick up a fair amount of fibers it was really obvious when I was digging this out that this hit the hardest. It was it was the deepest in the weave inside the fabric. So def this definitely would have uh, put a bigger bruise on you than the rest of them. And uh, they all sort of have that uh, 
big muffin look, muffin top look to them. So there are the projectiles. Uh, take it for what you will. This isn't a super scientific test, but certainly a vest of this type would be adequate, at least in the condition that I happen to find this one in, and stopping uh, you know, your common everyday uh, nine mil rounds out of a handgun, uh, ranging from 115 grain full metal jacket to the 147 grain HST. Hope you got something out of this. Stay tuned. We'll be shooting it with some 40s. We'll go 22 long rifle on it. We'll go 300 blackout subsonic, 45 ACP. And then when we get bored with it, we'll just see how bad other things. Maybe we'll throw a 454 Casul at it and that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for the Interceptor series. So the first series of rounds we're going to throw at this. So the first series of rounds we're going to throw at this surplus store special 